So this is another find the pH of a strong acid. H2SO4, sulfuric acid, is a strong acid. We want to find its pH. And the misconception we usually see with this is that while H2SO4 is a strong acid, it is only a strong acid for its first H+. In other words, H2SO4 can make H+, and HSO4-. minus. This HSO4- minus can also later break down to make more H+, plus, but compared to the amount from this first reaction, it's typically uh, insignificant. So when we do something with sulfuric acid, and we're just going to really just concentrate on its first H+, plus, its first ionization. So essentially, this is almost like finding the pH of HCl. Uh, so if I have a 1.3 molar concentration of H2SO4, and I start with zero of each of these, it's pretty much going to go up by the 1.3. So you're going to end up with 0, 1.3, and 1.3. And again, this can continue with the next H plus ionization, but it's, it's really just an insignificant amount. So our H plus is 1.3. Our pH is defined as the negative log of 1.3. So if I do that, I wind up actually with a negative pH. Again, you almost never seem to deal with this in most chemistry courses. You usually deal with much smaller concentrations. Um, but according to our, our formula here and how we do this, our pH would actually be negative 0.11. But you'll probably never deal with concentrations of this size for these types of problems. But that's it. So a strong acid like H2SO4, uh, just treat just like a uh, regular HCl or any other type of acid. So that's it. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.